Here we go, folks. I found something last night. Let's take a look at this. Basically, you got this right here. Now, that was a Kreutz shot that I had a minute ago. But basically, this comet here was, was found. Hit play here, and you'll be able to see it. It'll come up lower right there. Whether it hit the sun, we won't know. They'll, uh, I don't talk to NASA and uh, report. She can't miss it, it comes right up here. I was able to blow it up last night with a pitcher a lot better. So there you can see it. There it is right there coming in. It goes up. Pretty sure more than likely it got engulfed into the sun. So we've seen this stuff before. I'm not sure if this was Lovejoy or not. It doesn't say. This one here is also from the uh, 18th. And this is earlier, but as it goes along, this plays fast. But the idea there will be a, something that comes in here, and also we're going to have light propagation unless it got missed out, and we're going to have the big light propagation over here. It's almost what's amazing is it looks like something from the super giants because, as you can see, this here coming off the sun here. This is going to remind you what I'm going to show you when the bar gets to about here. Matter of fact, I think I can maybe get lucky and bite it. Bite into where it's at. And I think I just missed it there. You've seen that flash there. So I'm going to hit play and stop. And there it was again. So I'm going to try to grab it here. And there it went again. You can see it. But it's not from the sun, it's from the supergiants. Or something way out in space. And it's not new, we've seen this stuff before in the past. And there, just missed it. And there it went again. And you can see that this was on the on the 18th at 7:42 a.m. Now you can see we're getting this stuff, and there was also some stuff earlier on the 17th and 16th. That's in this combined footage. And there it goes again. It's like I got to get ahead of it and get lucky enough to get it stopped. There we go. As you can see, it comes this way. It comes from outer space. Boom. And then it pretty much matches up with the comet I showed you at the beginning of the flick here. Uh, I mean, you know, the same time and area. So, I mean, it's a massive area here. Now, this should be, I believe, uh, I think it's going to be Jupiter. I believe could be wrong on that. I don't have that Soho finder. So anyway, let's play the movie again. It starts up on the 16th, 17th. At the very beginning here. As you can see, we had stuff to the right and left. Then we have that other propagation there. Uh, there is a lot of stuff going on in it, but it's just they got it cranked up really fast. Play. I'm gonna see if I could get lucky enough to catch the other stuff. <clears throat> you can kind of see it right there. Just going hella fast.
That gives you an idea of the stuff that's flying around up in there. And the behind and the, the heads both match up pretty good today. They give you a great, because there's behind. And then we got a head. And as you can see, it'll match up. You can watch this spot here. And I think, believe it's also, well, this is also really good here. There's a head. And then that matches up with this flare here. And the time ain't that much difference. So as you can see that moving away, and I believe this is in the later time. Yeah, the 55. So you can see that flare moving away. This here, you see it dissipate and move away on the, see it farther out and dissipated in the later time period, 55. And it first gets seen on the head at 39 minutes. So, and this combination shot you have to watch, but you can see this massive, and then see this here object here. Watch this come down and back. As a matter of fact, I can just go like this, and you can see that this is down and back. I wonder if this is mass 55, that mass 50 or whatever we that the. Catholic Church had a long time ago the Vatican uh, put a telescope up on the and then we got all this other stuff going on here so you can watch this in fast play here but you'll see when it gets down here you'll get that massive it's giving it a bunch of gushing out and then it does that big so and then we can try to get about on the 20. We can try to see if we can find the 2300 on the 18th, where we thought the, com the comet was at. Now on the Hawaii cam, you can see the remnants. These are all remnants here. As you see, they'll disappear as we get into the darkness. And what I'm beginning to believe as you watch there, you lose it right there. You lose all the remnants. And there's our time clock at 18.50. Okay. And then I was watching the 17th the other night, so. I think we might have something interesting because I didn't want to leave. So I'm going to back up real fast here. And basically, you should end up seeing Jupiter again, I would think. On the 17th, I seen Jupiter. And that's not Jupiter yet. Jupiter is going to come up. It's not going to, it's going to be bigger and brighter than that. It should anyway. No, it didn't. So on the 17th, Okay, this is the 18th, so I'm going to go ahead and play the 17th, and you'll see it come up. And then you'll also see, oh, we're not done yet. It jammed up. 
So here we come. It should be coming. And there comes Jupiter. There it gets really wild and big. Does big ass mirror action with the sun and the super giants. And you see the super giants coming up here. And then you get our remnants again. And as the sun gets its butt up over the horizon, it's actually even a little bit better than what it was just on the 17th. You see the super giants all the way across the sky, and then you'll start getting the remnants back in again. See if I can pause it here. I'm gonna get ready to pause it. And get the remnants coming in. And what the remnants are is it's a bunch of material between the the sun and and basically trails behind the moon and so forth but it's always going to be there in the sky and here comes the sun as you see right there but you had this super giants all the way along and as you see the sun tries to fight its way through the cloud and then they blinked it out because we have showed in the past how the idea there's way more than one sun And as you see that coming up, we get that crackle. If I can get it just right there. Get moved over fast enough. No. Hopefully I'll get it ready to snap that shot. It's playing pretty fast, and then we will get... And this is what I'm talking about. You see this mapping here? And it may be off of uh, a mere reaction from Jupiter also. Okay, but these are the remnants. They're back out during the daytime. Okay, and wow, there at the last second, we got a big mirror shot of that, whatever planet it is. And I'm figuring and guessing it's Jupiter. This is part of the mirror that you see that you get the reaction of. And I think if I get lucky, I'm going to end up seeing it up here too as you see it starts mirroring up here also. You see this? I figure that this is Jupiter in front of the sun. It's doing that mirror effect. And as you see, that's just the sun. And all this is a super giants. And as the sun's going to try to fight its way through that cloud. And as it's fighting its way through that cloud, then we blink away. As you can see, they don't want you seeing that. That didn't get black, folks. And then, and the most noticeable one is this winged looks like a boomerang that uh, that's a remnant okay and these remnants will go away as it gets dark watch them disappear and off they go into the darkness of night <laughs>